All right, folks, gather around. Today, we're diving into the world of military tech, where things go boom and bad guys go bye-bye. In the red corner, hailing from the vast lands of Russia, we have the S-300 V-4, and in the blue corner, representing the pride of India, and also Russia, ironically, it's the S-400 Triumph. These two air defense systems are the undisputed champions, the heavyweights of the sky, here for a showdown of epic proportions. Think of them as the Mike Tyson and Muhammad Ali of missiles. One's a seasoned veteran, the other a new kid on the block, both packing a serious punch. So grab your popcorn, folks, because this is going to be a technical knockout. Let's get down to brass tacks. We're talking range, speed, altitude, the whole shebang. The S-400 boasts an impressive range of up to 400 kilometers, meaning it can swat a fly from across the English Channel. The S-300 V-4, while not as far reaching, still packs a punch with a 250 kilometer range. When it comes to speed, both systems are like Usain Bolt on steroids. The S-400's missiles can reach Mach 14, making your average fighter jet look like a snail. The S-300 V-4 isn't far behind, with missiles reaching Mach 7.5. These things are fast, folks, seriously fast. And let's not forget altitude. The S-400 can reach a staggering 30 kilometers, basically tickling the stratosphere. The S-300 V-4, on the other hand, maxes out at 25 kilometers. Still pretty high, mind you, but not quite touching the heavens like its counterpart. Now what does all this mean in a fight? Well, the S-400's superior range gives it a clear advantage. It can see the enemy coming from miles away, giving it more time to react and, well, obliterate them. It's like having a telescope in a sword fight. The S-300 V-4, while not as far-sighted, is no slouch. Its lower altitude reach might seem like a disadvantage, but it's actually optimized for tackling low-flying threats like cruise missiles and helicopters. It's like a hawk swooping down on its prey. Section 4, Arsenal of Fury Missiles and Targets. Both systems are like walking, or rather rolling, armories, equipped with a variety of missiles for different targets. The S-400 boasts a diverse arsenal, capable of taking down everything from aircraft to ballistic missiles. It's the ultimate multitasker, like a Swiss Army knife of destruction. The S-300 V-4, on the other hand, specializes in ballistic missile defense, it's the shield against the big, bad nukes, the ultimate protector of the skies. Section 5. On the Move. Mobility and Deployment. In the world of warfare, being able to move quickly is crucial. The S-400 is relatively mobile, but it takes some time to set up. It's like a tortoise with a rocket strapped to its back. The S-300 V-4, however, is designed for rapid deployment. It can be up and running in just five minutes, ready to take on any threat. It's like a cheetah on wheels, always ready to pounce. Section 6. Outsmarting the enemy countermeasure resistance. Of course, no air defense system is complete without some tricks up its sleeve. Both the S-400 and S-300 V-4 are equipped with advanced radar and electronic countermeasures to avoid being jammed or tricked by the enemy. They're like magicians, always one step ahead of the audience. Section 7. The Verdict. So, who wins this epic clash of titans? Well, it's a tough call. The S-400's superior range and versatility make it a formidable opponent, while the S-300 V-4's mobility and specialization in ballistic missile defense give it a unique edge. Ultimately, the choice depends on the specific needs of the user. If you're looking for an all-rounder, the S-400 is your go-to guy. But if you're facing the threat of ballistic missiles, the S-300 V-4 is the knight in shining armor you need. 